What's up guys? Tony Reek in here and today I'm going to throw down and make a little barbecue recipe I know you're going to love. I'm going to make some rosemary garlic steak kebabs. And you know exactly what these are, don't you? That's right. These are awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Now remember guys, if you love all the cool content I'm putting out, the easiest way to help this channel keep on rolling and grow is just to hit like and share on this video, drop a comment down below, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and share that also. That way every Monday and Friday you'll get a brand new, really cool recipe just like these rosemary garlic steak kebabs. Which to start, I'm going to make a marinade for our steak. For that, we're going to take some balsamic vinegar, some honey some stone ground mustard. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dice up some garlic, add salt and pepper, and mix that all together. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my steak into nice one inch cubes, get them coated in this marinade, and pop them in my fridge for about 30 minutes. With my steak marinating, it's time to move on to my cherry tomatoes. For that, I'm going to take some oil and some rosemary, mix that together, and just get my uh, cherry tomatoes nice and coated. And I'll let these marinate in the fridge along with my steak for about 20 minutes also. Then last, all I have to do is I'm going to take a pot of cold water, put my potatoes in there, bring it to a boil, and let it go for, say, about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, while everything was marinating and those potatoes were boiling, I started heating up my grill. Everything's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and put together the actual kebabs. Now, I've had some skewers soaking in water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my boiled tender potatoes, put that on first, then steak tomato, and repeat. Then once I'm done with my skewers, I'm going to head out to the grill, throw these on, let them go for about five minutes on each side, and they're all set. And with that, guys, this simple yet great barbecue recipe is done. Just take a look at how my kebabs came out. They freaking look awesome. Everything's got that nice little char to it. But you know, I can't just look at these. I just got to grab one and dig right in. Mm. This is freaking incredible. Hang on. You guys are going to love it. So go ahead and like share comment on the video down below if you need complete step-by-step -step printable instructions check out averageguygourmet.com head over to my patreon consider subscribing for even one dollar to help this content keep rolling out subscribe to my youtube channel give this one a try and we'll see you guys next time losing it here